about 13 miles from downtown Atlanta. Welcome to Truist Park. The show brings you a matchup of division rivals. It's the Miami Marlins going up against the Atlanta Braves. John Chomby, Chris Singleton with you. So the Atlanta Braves have yet to lose a game in this series, and now they go for the sweep. All right, here we go. Third game of the series. Just about to get underway and towing the slab. Spencer Strider, a 20-game winner a year ago, Singy. Yeah. And 20 games in this day and age is extremely difficult to reach because of all of the information, all of the analytics that can really oh. pinpoint where a weakness can be. Maybe it's that third time through the order. Maybe it's just a different situation as far as that hitter, what he does after having you know seen a particular pitcher. There's just so much data that prevents guys from... Bun by the Marlins to kick us off here in the third game of the series. So to have accomplished what he accomplished last year, he should be pretty proud of himself. Ryan De La Cruz stands in here. Tried to hold back his swing there, but went around. Out there on the mound, he's setting the tone early with the fastball, 98 miles per hour up on the scoreboard. The 0-2. Goes down. Got him. Luis Arise stands in. And the slider just misses. Pitchers always face a dilemma. Runner on the goal. That one to first. He takes it out. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. So two down now, and here is Jake Berger. Turned on, but that's foul down the third baseline. Strider, one of the best strikeout pitchers in the game, and that certainly is a benefit. Oh. Oh, now this is blasted. Left the pitch in the oh, zone. Two run blast Miami out in front here in this one. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2 nothing. That's a fun way to take the lead. Just hit one out of the park. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. Jazz Chisholm Jr. stands in now and watches strike one. In the air, left side. Wall on his way over. He's got it. And got the third out, but Jake Berger, two-run two blast. Miami this inning. Gives Miami a 2 nothing lead. First time Miami's led all series long. Here's the center fielder, Michael Harris. The center fielder, Michael. The wind of the pitch. Counts 1 0. Righty to the plate. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. Sends it to one first. away. One up, one down. Here's the Atlanta Braves lineup. Collectively, they're swinging the bats really well right now, Chris, scoring a lot of runs. Indeed, it seems to be contagious right now. Top to bottom of this lineup, they just seem to be feeding off of one another. One thing I watched in their batting practice is, although they've been scoring a lot of runs lately, they're still paying attention to the details. A lot of balls back up the middle the other way, and that's really the building block for great offensive production. Here's Ronald Acuna Jr. at the plate. Off the mark there. 1-0. Ball one, no strike. The Braves trailing by two here in the third and final game of the series. Warning track. Ball. And you can touch them all, baseball man. His 12th of the season. It's 2-1. Acuna is someone who is always just a swing away from doing something special.
This pitcher's velocity, a changeup, is really a break for a hitter. He got a BP fastball. Acuna with the solo shot he here in the first. 2 1 score now. Here is Matt Olson. That one hit to right. Garcia gets under it. And that's the inning. And that would be in the first. But the Braves Acuna make a noise. The Braves. 2 1 score. Ronald Acuna Jr. Gets on board with a solo shot to right center. Second inning set to go. And now for the Marlins, Josh Bell. Bounce to the right. Fair ball. That was a good hit. Oh, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. There's something about pulling one down the line and shooting it through the infield that's just so satisfying as a hitter. It's just fun turning on a pitch like he did right there. And here it comes. And a foul ball. Rudder at first with no outs here. Now fly ball to right center. Harris after it. He's got it. One away. There's one down. Now the catcher up to hit. Christian Bethencourt. Right through there for a strike. Strider's a guy known for his velocity. He can bring it, but that wasn't always the case. Coming back from an injury in college, Strider was throwing 94 to 96 miles per hour boog when the Braves drafted him. Now he lights up the radar gun with triple digit speeds. Bell over at first with one away. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. And there's two away. Finished him off by blowing it by him up high, but they did a really nice job of setting that pitch up. The plan of attack early on was to keep everything down around the knees, so that was a good call to change his eye level and run it by him for the K. Good eye right there. So now one and two. One ball, two straight. And there's a the ball. It's a good take. Got him looking for the K. Strike three called and a slider at the knees. One hit, no runs. 2-1 two, two Miami over Atlanta. We head to the bottom of the second. Here's Luis Guillorme. The third baseman. Luis. Here comes a pitch. Guillorme. High fly ball pretty well struck out towards right center. And it's a one hopper off the wall. Should be extra bases. Into second easily with a leadoff double. Oh, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Double into the gap, and that was a really nice swing to beat the inside pitch. Just beat him to the spot. Kept his hands tight inside that baseball, and that just allowed him to drive it into the alley right there. Marcelo Zuna stands in here, leaves that one off the inside. Next offering is fouled back. Home team down a run. Bottom half of inning number two. Swinging a foul over the screen and back out of play. Not even close there. And the count is two and two. And that one hammered way back there. Going on. His ninth homer of the year, and they grab the lead. It's 3-2. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit. Spit on some other pitches in this at bat was very a two run blocked by Ozuna. As the Braves take a three to two lead. Late with the swing there. Perez, only 20 years old. And he was born in the Dominican Republic. Double. ball.
I chased it for no reason. I chased it for no reason. One out here in the second. Once you're ahead, O2 as a pitcher, you can really expand the zone and see how aggressive that hitter is going to be trying to protect and battle. And right there, clearly he was in swing mode, but all you can do is hope to foul that off. That misses. And now it's even one and one. Oh, right down the middle, and I just hesitated. Still only one out here in the inning. And that's in the dirt. Two strikes. Righty delivers. Pitch Three, misses. Two. And now it's three and two. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Man at first with one gone. Forest Wall next up for the Braves. And a foul ball, third base side. Here comes the 1. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Man at first, one away. And batter waits. One ball. And one and two. two strike. Very dominant with that fastball inside. Hitter's going to be conscious of that. Now you have the outer half of the plate to work with out there on the mound. <laughs> on the ground the first. They get one. Oh. Puts the tag on him and it's a double play. What a play. Got the double play, but Ozuna's two run two blast gave the Braves a three to three, two lead. Here, going to the third inning here in Atlanta. Out of the third inning, and stepping in is the speedy John Birdie. So after scoring oh, runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot know. team back in there to swing the bats. Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Guillaume drifts towards it, reaches over the wall, and he's got it! Got the pitch that he wanted, just a little bit quick. Front shoulder open, backside collapsed a little bit, and the launch angle, not where he needed it to be. De La Cruz in the box here, lets that one go for a ball. Down the middle for a strike, and a count one and one. Strider out there on the mound for this one, and he's a guy who had a really impressive college career, but needed Tommy John surgery while playing for Clemson. And Acuna able to make the grab. So digging in, Luis Arise. And the slider just misses. Backdoor breaking ball just missed right there, and boy, umpire to give him the call. I bet you if he throws it again, Hitter knows he's going to have to swing it. Here we go. Three up. Three down. And that is the third out of the inning. Bottom of the third. Lynn is top of the lineup. Up Reach next. It. Back at Truist Park. Lead set for the bottom of the third. Now the leadoff spot the for the Braves. Michael Harris. Harris. First oh, pitch misses. Point. You know, these Braves doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. And here's a stat for you, Boo. They're making contact with more than 85% of the pitches that they're swinging at. It's pretty special stuff. Not so good if you're out there on the mound. Just Whoa, off the outside down. edge, and it's 2-1. and one.
fouled off. He was late. The line to kick the pitch. Three. Swings through it for the K. Pulled the string on the changeup. Bogey just ran out of patience there. He took a couple of pitches to even that count up at two balls and two strikes, but that time chased outside the zone. Puts it in the air out towards left center. Birdie calls it in, two away. Two outs, base is empty. Right Here's Robert Acuna Perkins. now. He's Robert already homered in this Acuna. game. Junior. He swings and hits a fly ball. Center field. Chisholm under it. Brings it in for the third out. One, two, three inning on the Braves. Top of the fourth. Three to your score here in Atlanta. As we go to the top of the fourth. Stepping in the long ball threat. Jake Berger. Yeah. That clips the zone. One, one. Chris, we were excited to watch him pitch. This is a little more along the lines of what... Oh, now this one's blasted deep to left. Way back there, on its way and out of here. The second home run of the game. Another homer. His second home run of the game, and this game is tied. It's 3-3. Ziggy, that's his 50th career homer. 50 might not sound like a huge number, but it's a nice little milestone that a lot of guys don't get to. Now a chance for Jazz Chisholm Jr. And that's through there for a strike. Oh, he's just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run, go back to work, focus on this next batter. Oh, one. And a good eye there. Just missed with that backdoor breaking ball. If he gets a swing and miss or called strike, 0-2 nope. count. Instead, it's 1-1. Look for him to go back to the pitch later in this at bat. Give up two run home runs. Swing and a miss. Two and two now. Two two pitch. Full count. Nobody on, nobody out. Top half of inning number four. This to third. Whips it across. One away. That's the first out in the top of the fourth. Josh Bell at the plate now. That one finds the zone. It's 0-1. That's a little bit low. One out, base is empty, and a run in here in the third and final game of the series. Lifted in the air, right center field. Acuna there. Two away. It in for the out. And there's two down. Nick Gordon, the next up for the Marlins. Foul. foul ball. Two outs, base is empty. On the ground to third. Throw on to Olsen. Three outs, but Jake Berger solo Looks blast to left. Ties the game. We're tied three three ball three game base. going to the bottom this of the fourth on the show here in Atlanta. Here in Atlanta, leading off, Matt Olson. The first baseman. Matt. With a right hander back to work. Olson coming off an amazing 2023 oh, campaign. Prodigious power numbers, and he cut his strikeout rate. Swing and a miss, and that's strike two. Oh, okay. Up and in. And it's one and two. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The pitch. And another ball. Two balls, two strikes. And that's downstairs and outside. Payoff pitch. That one misses. So a leadoff walk. 
I don't think he really wanted to pitch to him right there anyhow. Now here is Luis Guillorme. A double and a run scored his first time up. And that one fouled off. First could be two. Over to court. There's one. Two gone as they hit into their double play. double play in the first four innings. Here's Marcelo Zuna. He's already homered here in this one. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time. That misses. And it's one and one. Foul ball. All tied up. We're here in the bottom of the fourth. Foul ball. And the right hater deals. Swing and a miss. Slider strike three. No hits. No runs. Four through four. Tied three. three three ball game. Miami and Atlanta all tied up at three. Fifth inning of baseball. Up next. And welcome back to the ballpark. New inning getting started. Now it's the Marlins catcher, Christian hey. Bethencourt. Pitches in there. Strike one. Bethencourt goes six feet three inches. 32 years old, and he was born in Panama. Swing and a miss. The velocity blasted it right past him. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport. And I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. One down, base is empty. On the ground to third, and foul ball. to the left side and it gets by him and that rolls into the corner now he'll turn for second and he'll pull into second safely nice job keeping it fair as he turned on it down the line and once it got through the infield it was a double all the way a chance now to take the lead and at this point in the game that could be a deciding run man at second edge of the zone for a strike and the count is 0-2 Spoils a two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Nice. Swings and misses. Struck him out. And he'll be beating himself up on the way back to the dugout. Got a pitch to hit and just couldn't get to it. I think that slider really caught way more of the plate than it was supposed to. Third out. One hit, no yeah, runs. Bottom of the fifth, Braves still up. tied with All Miami. Tied up at three apiece. The switch hitting second baseman, Ozzy Albies. The second baseman. The pitch. Ozzie. Albies. Ball oh. one, no strikes. Ball one, no strikes. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. But the throw to first gets him easily. And that's the first out. Here's Sean Murphy. He reached out a walk his first time. Check swing. Did he go? Yes, he did. Well, on the mound, very efficient. Able to produce an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And a swing and a miss there. Base is empty, one away. Last half of inning number five. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Slider got him for strike three. Forrest Wall digs in now. He hit into a double play his first time up. It's softly on the ground, left side. Not in time, and he reaches safely. 
Tremendous stop right there. Impressive, but just a little tardy on the exchange. And with good speed going up the line, that cost him. Great hustle for the infield hit. Base knock right field. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Two consecutive base hits for this team. I'm amazed at his ability to pull his hands inside and actually square that baseball off. That pitch was off the plate. So tough to get the barrel to anything in there. And a foul ball left side. Two on, two outs. Inside almost got him. And he deals. In the dirt. One ball. Two strikes. No movement on the bases. One and two to count. Double barreled action in the bullpen. Sixto Sanchez. The young right hander up and throwing. Rogers. The left hander also throwing. In the dirt, but kept close. But no advance from the runners. First and second. Two down. And that one popped to short. Should have this one. And that will end the inning. Two hits, no run to the Braves. The sixth inning of baseball here in Atlanta. Top of the sixth inning. Here's the second baseman, Luis Arias. First pitch doesn't find the zone. That's a really good take right there. Slider down and in. Very difficult to get on the same plane and do anything with. No, that's down. Just missed. The wind to kick the 2 -0. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. That's down. One hops off the wall. Safe at second with nobody out, and that double has the go-ahead run in scoring position. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Swing and a miss. Good pitch oh, right boy. there. Anytime you can get one by a bat of this caliber, especially with runners on, it's going to give you some confidence out there on the mound that you can win this battle. Foul ball, it stays nothing in two. And ball one. They try to get him to go. Chase the pitch down and away, but he wouldn't bite. Strike three. This is, it's a strikeout. Came inside with that two-strike fastball nicely and just bunched him up on the inside part of the plate. Couldn't get around on it and catch it out front. Many times if you do, it's a foul ball. And you know a lot of pitchers, they really don't like working inside with two strikes because they do not want to hit that batter. And when they've got him up against the ropes, got to figure out a way to put him away. Did a nice job right there. Nope. Up and in, and it's two and one. Hard shot there. That's going to score a run. Coming home. Here's the throw. Four, three, your score. In on the play. Everything came together for him. That was one of those swings that feels like you're swinging. An aluminum bat. It jumped off so hard, squared it up, and it went screaming at 108 miles per there hour. Bell checks his swing, appeal to third, and he won around. Rule the swing. The pitch. Swing and a pop up. Foul territory for the catcher. And that's oh, come on, man. One out, the runner at second, and we're at the top half of the sixth. In the air, left field, down the line, and that's a fair ball. The run comes in to score from second. It's 5-3. I got robbed on that play at the catch behind the plate. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the jump. Off balance feed, there's one. Yeah, Double play. The damage done. Two runs here in the sixth for the Marlins. They lead five to three. Marlins five. Back now for the bottom of the sixth, and there's a new pitcher on the mound. Six no Sanchez. 
Still a lot of game left, and this game could go either way. So this is a big opportunity for him to get some important outs and try to help carry this lead into the later innings. And a pitch. And that one fouled off. Another ball. This hitter's looking for a fastball, but I'm not sure he's going to get one. Pitcher doesn't have to challenge him. If he feels better about his off-speed secondary stuff, then stay with it. Sharp grounder. That's through for a base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. He was all over that one. The timing on the swing was good. Able to shoot the ball up the middle. Didn't square it up as much as he probably would have liked. But now this one is hammered. Way back there. On its way and gone. And we are tied. A massive home run. His 13th home run of the season. It's 5-5. The brighter the lights, the more he shines. Yeah, this guy lives for big moments, and right there made a statement big time. Love to see a hitter aggressive on the first pitch of an at-bat. You watch him from the on-deck circle, so when you step in the box, you're ready to pull the trigger wherever it's at. Really good job by the hitter. Total conviction on that swing. Guillaume next up for the Braves and there's the strike right-handed reliever the other way hauls it in for the out that swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. And that one pulled foul. One down, base is empty. Here's the sinker at the knees for a strike. Oh, and two. Two runs across in the inning here in the bottom of the sixth. And now Outside, one and two. He's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. The throw to first. Got the out. Here is Ozzie Albies up to him. Second baseman, Ozzie Albies. Base is empty, two away, but two runs are in here in the third and final game of the series. All right. O2 pitch uh, by you. Line of the pitch. 5-5 ball game. Check swing, no Good appeal. Right. And delivers outside. Two down, nobody on. 
Bounced up the middle. Garden with the toss to first. Oh, in the sixth, but the Braves two run shot by Matt Olson. Ties it up. 5-5. Five, five. Seventh inning show. we go here in Atlanta. We go to the top of the seventh. Righty reliever out of the pen, Joe Jimenez. This is his fifth appearance of the year. Bounce to the right side. He'll do it himself. That's the first out in the top of the seventh. Abasail Garcia up to the plate. That one's in there. That's strike one. Jimenez, a former All-Star. He features a four-seam fastball, a slider, and he works in a changeup. That one down the line, and it finds its way through for a hit. Makes the turn and heads for second. And he's into second base with one away as the go-ahead run. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Now a good opportunity to potentially jump one ahead one. in this game here in the later innings. And it's second. And foul. Come on. Strike three, two away. Nice work there to get the strike out, and that's a big second out. I'll tell you, this whole crowd will be fired up. Oh they can get out of this and leave that go-ahead run stranded in scoring position. This is a big moment in this game. There's the strike, 95 of that one. As a pitcher, you know the runner on second is ready to push things with his speed. A base hit's probably going to be a big run, so you really have to execute on the mound. Strike three, Cole Mockin, Bob in the seven, Tyrion Lennon, five five, our score. We're back in a new picture here to start the bottom of the seventh. Ryan Weathers, and here's the catcher, Sean Murphy, and that one just misses a ball and no strikes. You know, these Braves, digging into their numbers, have to be happy with the swings they're taking. They've hit seven line drives already, and even though some of them have been for outs, there's nothing wrong with delivering consistent, hard contact. That's almost always going to lead to positive results. Ron Burner into the outfield for a knock. So the go-ahead run is on base with a knock. Well, when you fall behind in the count, you've got to come into the zone, and then guys have a better chance of hitting the ball hard like he did right there. Here's the left fielder, Forrest Wall. Fly ball down the line. One away. And there's one away. And here is Michael Harris. One for three. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. One away, tie game. Go ahead, run stands at first. Fall off foul. O2 pitch. Kicks and deals. Oh. Miss. That's a chase three. Ugly cut on the slider for strike three. He's really good hitting the baseball the other way. So credit the pitcher for having him out in front of that pitch. Clearly he had him fooled. That one ripped. And in one hops the wall. Around third. The relay to the plate. And he's out. Cut down and that ends the inning. Try to take the lead in the late going. Can't blame him, but the defense was having none. What a throw out the from the at the wall. Time, and we'll push on with a tie ball game. Five, five. Got him at the plate. What a play by the Marlins. Going to the eighth inning. We go to the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Luis Arias. And that's in for a strike. Next offering misses down and away. There's a strike at the knees. 
And this guy's got a great feel for his breaking ball today. In the air, right field. Sizes this one up. Pulls one it away. And he makes the catch. Yeah, there's one away. And up next for Miami, Jake Berger. Ground ball up the middle. In plenty of two away. First, and there's two away. Jazz Chisholm Jr., the next up for the Marlins. Oh, and that's outside. Ball one. Two down, nobody off. And we're in the top of the eighth. Misses off the play. And yeah, that's ball two. Inside just missed. Two outs. Three one. And he oh, that pitch was way off. One of the things about that two out walk, the base runner over at first base is getting. very aggressive secondary lead so a ball down the line or an end of the gap will produce a two out RBI and those are the best that is if you are the offensive side of it the one one and that one fouled off two gone the possible go ahead run at first fights it off you'll see another Fouls it off, still one and two. And a pitch. And oh, just misses with that one. Oh. I don't know how you take that. He's seeing the ball. Runner on the go. Still two and two after the foul ball. And a pitch. That Got him. Slider, slider inside. Him Tie ball game. Bottom of the eighth. Here in Atlanta, Braves trying to take the lead before the ninth. Ready for the bottom of the eighth, and here is Ronald Acuna Jr. As the lefty gets to work. On a line. Drops into the glove. One up, one down. Good piece of hitting right there. Nice hard line drive to the outfield. You're trying to get on base, represent that go-ahead run. Can't hang your head on that at all. First offering, foul tip, and oh man, that rang off his mask. You could hear it from up here. Breaking ball inside. One ball, one strike. Signs of activity in the pen for the Marlins. Oscar Brazoban getting loose out there. And a count one and two. Ball tied up here, the bottom half of the eighth inning. Got him looking for the strikeout. Couldn't pull the trigger on a fastball at the knees. Luis Guillorme next up for the Braves. Swings yeah. through that one. 0-1. Oh one. One Weathers, 24 years old. A former first-round pick back in 2018. That's towards center. Chism now we're in the eighth for the Braves. And Ninth inning we go. Marlins looking to... Push this. Trying to get the lead in the ninth. All set for the start. Penn Murphy takes over on the mound. He's making his second appearance of the season. In the air, out towards right center. Harris after it. Balls in. One away. He was all over that first pitch fastball, but just barely missed it. Man, this guy was ready to hit. Bending court in the box now. Take strike one. Base is empty one away. You're at the top of the ninth. And it's strike two. Well, no base hits in the series for him so far. And it's clearly been a rough one. You just hope he's not pressing too hard because that just compounds things. It makes the slump even longer. Never seemed to help. Never helped me. One down, base is empty. Nope. That one just misses. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Strike three. Two away. 
Abisayu Garcia, the next up for the Marlins. Ground ball left side. One, two, three, and for the Braves. Braves him walk off Garcia in the ninth. Gone on the play. And that is down in order. This and here we go. Tied five all. Bottom nine. Now it's the DH. Marcelo Zuna. The pitch. Tapped at the plate, but it's a foul ball. This to third. Oh, look at the stop. Over to first. And they got him. One away. And great diving play over there to prevent the winning run from reaching base. Here in the ninth inning, that's absolutely huge. You love to see that kind of play made in big moments by the defense. And fouled off. Fell off. Little two pitch coming up here. Right hander kicks deals. Swing and that ball smashed on a line. Give me a double Makes it to for the Braves. The double of one out here in the ninth. One gone. There you go. Winning run is aboard with one down. Solid swing. Here's Sean Murphy up the bat here. Everything really good balance, nice extension, and he met it out front for the line drive knock. Oh, Winning good. run in scoring position now, so a clutch AB could end this one. The winning run on second base. Two and oh. Outside. Wouldn't chase that time. Would love to see him get the green light, even with the 3 0 count right here. Let's see if he can create some magic. That's in there. That's strike one. The pitch. Here's a rocket to right field. Makes the grab for the second out. Two away. Man, that's one of those at bats where you have to remind yourself it's about the process. He did everything right. There's Forrest Wall. Trying to drive in the game winning run. It was a very good at bat. Fought off foul. Winning run in scoring position with two away. Here in the last half of inning number nine. Swing and a miss. And a count is 0-2. Final strike for the Braves. Here in this one. Got him swinging. And we go to extras. That's the third out. And we'll play extra innings in this one. On to extra innings. Now the left fielder, John Birdie. Murphy back to work. Oh, one. That one missed. The extra innings rule placing a runner on second to begin the inning was a big move for baseball in 2020. So, Chris, how has that changed the way relievers approach these innings? Well, I don't think it's that much different from coming in to clean up someone else's mess. Definitely not ideal, but the best relievers welcome challenges like this. One, two now. And That's another awesome. ball. Two balls, two strikes. Wouldn't okay. chase that time. This one in the air right field. Under it is a Cunha to make the grab. And there's one down. And now here's the Marlins DH, Brian De La Cruz. There's a strike at the knees. Going one. One out. The go-ahead run is its second. And here in extra eight. Swings and misses. And it's nothing in two. And a 
Yes, come on. Baldy stays alive. Bounce to third. Guillaume. Tosses two way. And that is out number two. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. On the ground, right side. In plenty of we go to the bottom of the 10. Nothing effective for the Marlins here, but the overtime rule. Braves have a chance to win it. We're in extras here, and now the center fielder, Michael Harris. And here it comes. Hard ground ball for stop. Round third headed for the That's game. The Braves win in ten. And the Braves walk it off in extra innings. You know, he had to feel the pressure. Winning run on second base. Found a way to make solid contact. And the winning run comes across to score. Everyone going crazy. Exciting finish to this game today. Michael Harris, a hard shot up the middle. And you have somebody with fast speed to score home. Braves win in extras. They sweep the series against Miami. Six five the final here today. A one run extra inning win. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. Thanks for joining us. What a game. Braves win in extras. 6-5 to five over their division right where Miami Marlins. It was a great game from the start. Miami got rolling. But the Braves the got back into it and won in extras. Braves win the series. 3-0 against Miami.